Today, let's take a look at the Southwest Binding and Laminating Phoenix 4400 DHP. The first thing you're going to notice is the unique control panel. On the control panel, we have our digital readout. We have three mode settings. We have our temperature display and our up and down keys for adjusting temperature and speed. You'll also notice the top heat, the bottom heat, run and stop, forward and reverse. So if I press the mode button, it'll switch from speed to top heat to bottom heat, and it displays the speed setting, the temperature setting for the top heat, and the temperature setting for the bottom heat. So let's go to the speed. If I press the, bo the buttons, I can adjust the speed up and down. When I go to the top heat, same thing. And also for the bottom heat. This tells you the actual temperature of the rollers. We don't have the heat on right now. So this is going to read the room temperature. And then when you release it, it goes back to your setting. To turn the heaters on, I simply press this button and this button. And now you'll notice that these start flashing. So if I'm in the top, it will flash. When this comes up to temperature, these will go solid. For the motor, I press the motor on and then I can turn it off. In reverse, reverse will only work on the foot pedal. It will not run automatically. The 4400 DHP comes with three inch supply shafts and rewind shafts for doing PSA film. These are drop in. It also comes with thermal shafts for doing double sided thermal applications. It has three inch core adapters and two and a quarter inch core adapters. The machine for safety has a removable safety shield for doing thermal films, which you can remove during pressure sensitives. It also has a photo eye that shoots a beam all the way across the rollers so that in case an operator gets too close, it will shut the motor off and that operator can't, can't get pulled into the machine. machine comes with locking casters on the front and a foot pedal for manual operation. On the back side of the machine you'll notice one emergency stop button in case you have a wrap up or something. Engage, press down, disengage, twist and it pops up. There's also a rack for doing mounting. This keeps the board straight as it comes out. It also helps in thermal films so that the thermal film doesn't try to wrap up on the roller. On the panel back here, there is a switch for the cooling fans for the thermal film. You have two fuses for the motor and the heater, your main on off switch, and then this is for the foot pedal and this is the power cord. On this side of the machine, we have the brake adjustment knob for the PSA over laminate. We have the clutch adjustment knob for the take-up assembly for the, for the PSA release liner. Here we have the gap and pressure setting handle. There are four different gap settings for different mounting material as well as two thermofilm settings for thick film and thin film.